we can know peace on earth, okay? You don't have to have the Messiah return or in the Quran, whatever their return is of Muhammad. You don't have to have, I'm talking about Jewish and then Quran. This is to my best knowledge of religious uh, preachings. You don't have to have Jesus return to find peace on earth. Uh, Tibet Buddhism, they're really huge on this stuff about how to get along with one another. They're the, they're the masters of that. Oh, and the Hindi religion. You have to recognize this if you took a religious course in college or, or a religious course given to people that's not a, a college credit with term papers that affect your GPA, right? You're not an enrolled student. You could take a course, a, a very respected course and gain a wealth of knowledge from the right professors. You don't have to enroll in colleges, what I'm saying. On this subject of religion, Hindi and Buddhist Eastern religions. I have to plug my ears while I do this, okay? Um, really got it down with getting along with other people. You don't have to wait for the Messiah to return. Okay? You can get along. And that's my my job as God's soldier on earth. That's what he said to me. Let me unplug my ears, please, God. Okay. Is to pray for peace. God's telling me to pray for peace for about three straight days. Over and over. Especially when I'm in that extra room. Pray for peace, comma, calm. Pray for peace, Heidi. Pray for peace. I want you to pray for the United States, and I want you to pray for peace. So, yeah, that's, after five years, everybody knows my personality. I'm like, uh, pray for peace, oh boy. That's gonna take a lot of soul searching for me. I'm gonna have to learn, is what I mean. Be taught stuff and things. Because praying for peace means more than just, I pray for peace, a mantra. But I can start there, so let me start. Now, I, I am a Catholic, so I pray in a Catholic Christian prayer. God the Father, I pray for peace on earth. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. God the Father, I pray for peace on earth. Okay. Good, I did my prayer, that's a start. But it's a lot more than that, to pray for peace and do God's will and act this out. So I am on a new quest in life and it's going to make me such a better person. Pray for peace. That means to me the Indian and the Chinese militaries get along. That means the Pakistani and Indian militaries get along. That means the Iranian militaries get along with everybody else. That means there is a potential for peace on earth. What we have to do, what we are in right now is war. And it's the sad fact, and that's why I'm praying for peace, and that's why I'm praying for the United States, because it's going to be so brutal here, what the evil militaries do. And we do have to fight for our families. We do have to fight for our loved ones, for our lives, to protect each other. And we do have to slay Satan. And we do have to slay the enemy because he's controlling the people who are the evil military, okay? They are acting as Satan's humans. They only do evil, vile acts to children, women, innocent animals. I've witnessed it. I've witnessed everything they do. There's no doubt in my mind. They will, they will, they will slaughter, brutally kill and torture an innocent fucking cat baby, woman, child, anybody, just listed, okay? They're 
evil. The witness testimonies of people who survive or police who encounter really evil killers say they were just like Satan, right? They, de they describe this in their testimonies. And doctors who study human behavior say it's this sort of abnormal, uh, abnormal personality or they have medical terms so we can all call it whatever, but it's acts of pure evil driven by Satan. And that's what I choose to believe and I choose to perceive my world as in religious context, which is perfectly fine. I can do that. And I am told to pray for peace. So therefore, all right, that is my world. That's how I'm going to behave in it. And I'm not going to argue that with anybody I'm going to be. I'm going to be intolerant and I'm not going to choose to be challenged on my spiritual beliefs. I don't have to hear that. I don't have to engage with that. Um, God will probably tell me to try to overcome that too. But right now, all I'm told to do is pray for peace. I'm not Buddha quite yet, dude. Buddha would have done it all. We know that. Buddha is Buddha. I am not saying I'm Buddha or Jesus. Jesus would have done it all too. Those are, to my best knowledge, two of the biggest hippie Zen religious figures on earth. Okay, um, so we, there will be a point where these evil humans are no longer in these militaries. They're in the U.S. military. Okay, it's not just the Iranian fighting everybody, dude. The Iran and U.S. are the same military. They have United States white neo-Nazi really evil men that will torture and kill cats, pimp and rape women, chop off their heads. It's, I witnessed all of it. Children, it doesn't matter. They're just like Hitler. Okay? All right. And then the Middle Eastern ones are doing it, taking the Quran and disgracing Muslims with it. There are millions of Muslims that these Middle East terrorists go straight after all the time. Their job as a Middle East terrorist is to go after peacekeeping Muslims and Jewish people. That is how they're raised as children, to go after them. Muslims who don't want to do nothing to no one, they're, they're, they're just religious people, okay? They go after the nice Muslims, and they go after the Jewish people. And then everybody else they go after because they're an infidel. This is very evil. Middle Eastern terrorists are very evil. And their friends who see the world just like them are the white neo-Nazis. You can find the white neo-Nazis in white countries on the earth, okay? I'm not going to get sidetracked with other things like that right now. I need to pray for peace because once these kind of people are removed from the earth, which is what Jesus would do, he would cast the demons back to hell. I don't know how Buddha goes about it. I haven't studied these religions. It's probably something I have to do. I see it as a chore, but I think it's something I need to do. I need to start studying other religions just a bit. We'll see how far I get into it. But I need to have, be able to know what the heck I'm talking about because Jesus keeps bringing it up, okay? So I need to study. It's going to be something I need to do. Find the time when I'm not here and the good guys have busted and raided the city and raided the terrasol. You know what I mean with practical terms here. When I can, I need to start studying some other religions and get a better idea of what the heck I'm talking about. I need to study some of the Quran too because there's so many nice Muslims. And that's all Jesus has told me while I've been trapped as a hostage here about nice people on the planet, okay? So um, we need to get along and we need to pray for peace and we don't need to see Martians come back 
We don't need to see the Messiah come back. We don't need to see Jesus come back. We can do that as humans on planet Earth on our own. If Martians come back in spaceships, <clears throat> if Jesus comes back, if the Messiah comes back, that's just even more happy times. That's even just more of a party. But what we can do on our own, he told us, Jesus, I can say I've, I know the Bible, so I can say this. Jesus told us we could do this. As far as what the German neo-Nazis did, no, excuse me, as far as what the Hitler German Nazis did in World War II, it's not forgivable. They had to be killed. They've risen again. They cannot stay on earth. But but the what God wants is for their I gotta plug my ears. God doesn't want any more war. And it doesn't take Messiah coming back to find that we can do it. But we as humans have to cast the devil back into hell with his humans. They cannot reign here. And you you are doing the right thing. Good military. And I know you are. I mean, when they're attacking cats and dogs and children, women, your own family members, it's done. They're going to hell. I'm with you. I'm helping you. But there's so much more to life. And that's what God's telling me. Pray for peace. All right, and I, I hope this goes on the ears of all the good priests and nuns in the Catholic Church that I can remember I've been around because your Pope right now, and you know it, is evil. He's got himself involved with military now, and I, I said this for how many years? Four years that he was helping Iranian government. So, no, I don't want, my church is bombed. I absolutely love going to Catholic Mass, and it's been on my account for years. I mean, nobody doubts that, especially the nuns and the priests. They know I love the church, but you also understand I have to do God's will. And I want the nuns and the priests of the Catholic Church to please hear my prayer, God. I pray for peace. I pray for peace on earth, and from here on, that's what I'm going to be making happen. And God the Father, if you come back as the Messiah, as whatever it is you want to come back as, as a whole bunch of Martians in UFO jets, I still pray for peace on earth. And when you come back, if that's right now or if that's in a few days, when you come back, it's even more of a party. God bless America and God bless all of you on earth. Goodbye.